Hey everybody, this is Ash for the Triple S League. So after publishing my uh, non-lethal combat and clockwork soldier combat guides, I had a request to do a guide about uh, fighting witches. So here are my tips for fighting witches in Dishonored 2. This is by no means going to be a comprehensive guide. I Unfortunately, I just don't have time to go through and find, you know, all of the effective tactics. But these are the tips I have after playing through the game several times. Witches are, um, they can be a little intimidating at first, but in a lot of ways, they're actually very similar to other enemies in Ordinary Guards. Uh, you can sneak up on them. I don't know if you can see this one here through the window. Uh, you can sneak up on them. Um, they're not any more perceptive than Ordinary Guards are. And, uh, they don't have any kind of omnipotent sort of, uh, connection to one another. You see the one down the hall there. She wasn't aware that I was there until she actually saw me. The one major thing that witches can do that other enemies can't is they can teleport. They have something very similar to Corvo's blink power, and so they teleport around at the oddest times. They try to, you know, they'll try to flank you, do various things. Uh, oh boy. So they teleport around, try to confuse you, try to get around you. Um, so it can be very disorienting when you're fighting more than one at once. But the one advantage you have when fighting witches is that they really like to talk, and their teleportability is very noisy. One thing I'd recommend, as far as actually uh, dealing with their, their teleportation ability, is uh, play the game wearing headphones, and then just listen carefully. And when they teleport, you know, you can tell where they are just by uh, which, which ear you hear the sound effect in, and which ear you hear their voices in. Um, it can get really complicated if you're Again, if you're fighting more than one of them, it can it can be fairly chaotic. So it's a good idea not to take on too many at a time. But uh, if you have, if you're wearing headphones and they're turned up loud enough, uh, it's uh, it's actually not too difficult to figure out where they're teleporting to. Witches have a basic sword attack, but they're not any better than your average sort of uh, guard enemy, um, and they're not as good as the elite or veteran. Uh, you know, Grand Guard enemies that you'll that you'll face. So if they're attacking with their sword, you can deflect their their attacks, throw them off balance, and assassinate them. Now there's also two different kinds of ranged attacks that they have, and it seems like they either have one or the other. The first is where they shoot these sort of uh, red pellets at you using magic. It's a fairly powerful long range attack, but it is very easy. Uh, to counter if you upgrade reflexes so that you can block to deflect projectiles and it deflects them just like any other projectile as long as I'm blocking her magic bolts can't even touch me no no danger whatsoever so you don't need to be afraid of that just you know spend a rune and uh, upgrade your uh, reflexes like I said and uh, that takes care of that the other type of ranged attack that they have is this howling screech that they use and and it is actually a very powerful attack that does a lot of damage and I have not found a good counter to it um, let's see if I can get her to do it again here apparently having uh, fire nearby is a very effective strategy as uh, witches like to burn themselves to death so it's a very powerful attack, and I don't know of any defense against it. Um, if anybody knows out there, uh, please please leave a comment down below. I'd very much like to know, and I'm sure other people would as well. But uh, even though you can't really block against it, it, it has a very short range. As long as you stay out of range, you should be pretty good. But if, they, if she gets close to you and uses the Howl attack, uh, you'll want to have a you'll want to have a health elixir ready to use. Because of their blink ability, certain attacks and certain abilities aren't going to be as effective against witches as they are against certain other enemies. For example, grenades. They see a grenade, they're going to blink out of range. It's not going to do much. One way to counter this is to cook the grenade a bit before throwing it. Just be careful that it doesn't explode in your hands, because you, um, you have to actually wait pretty close to when it's going to explode before you toss it. So that's one way you can take out, you could take out a group of witches with a grenade that way. Um, by the way, if you're wondering what I mean by cooking a grenade, it means you hold down the throw button, and the grenade is live in your hands. But, if you hold it for too long, you, uh, you blow yourself up. 
All your basic sort of non-lethal tactics still work very effectively against witches. All of the things that I demonstrated in my non-lethal combat video, uh, I would recommend you check that out. But yeah, so your slide attack, like I demonstrated there, your drop assassinations, your um, choke hold, your choke throw. I can't seem to get it to happen here, but um, I've had it happen before where I've used the choke throw and run up to kick the witch unconscious and uh, had her teleport away just as I'm about to kick. So don't be surprised if that happens, I guess. But yeah, sleep darts work. Stun grenades work. Or, uh, sorry, stun mines. Or, uh, I suppose, you know, stun grenades. If I, I, do have a, I do have a video about how to turn a stun, gr a stun mine into a stun grenade, but um, these all work. Shadow walk also works fairly well. Just remember that they can still attack you when you're in shadow form, so... Just like any other enemy. You can use drop assassinations, drop knockouts. Um, Domino works very well if you have that equipped. You can take out several witches at a time with a single attack. If you're in combat with a l bunch of witches at a time, utilize your blink or your far reach. Um, just like, just like you can, they can confuse you by blinking all over the place. You can convince, you can confuse them by using your magic, and then sneak attack when they're not looking, and then, you know, nope the heck out of there again. Just, uh, you know, you are, really, you're as powerful as they are. So, um, you know, if you're fairly good with utilizing your abilities, uh, you can actually fight a bunch of them at a time and uh, not have too much trouble. One thing to keep in mind when you're sneaking around in a level that has witches in it is that they could be literally anywhere. This is another unique aspect of witches that you don't find in any other enemy. They don't have, you know, standard patrols. They don't have guard posts. They like to sit on top of chandeliers and have tea or, you know, just hide in really weird random places. But their perception is, uh, you know, <laughs> not actually that great. You'd think, uh, you'd think they're, with all their magical abilities, they'd be able to detect me sitting right here. Um, but, yeah, nope. Not so much. There's a bone charm you can get, which I don't actually have. Uh, in this save, but I have used it and it is very useful. Um, it's called Relocation Sickness and basically when you have it equipped there's a chance that um, the, a witch will stumble and fall down anytime she teleports, um, which gives you a good opportunity to assassinate or, or knock her out. Now where you find witches you'll often find blood briars, which are these weird plant things that the witches uh, raise magically. Uh, you'll find them in certain places in some levels. I've also had it happen where witches have raised them just randomly during uh, combat. I'm thinking only certain witches can do that, or maybe, you know, stronger ones as you get. It happened in the last level of the game, so, um, you know, it, I haven't seen it happen here in the conservatory, but I have I saw it happen in the last level of the game. Anyway, they're, um, they're not a big problem. They, they have a very short range, and if you move very slowly, uh, they really they don't detect you at all, but it's, I mean, it's very easy just to teleport past them, blink past them. If they're really in your way, you can take them out with a combustion bolt or something like that. So those are my basic tips for fighting witches. Like I said, this is not a comprehensive uh, guide. I'm sure that there are other helpful techniques, and if you have any, I, encur I encourage you to write them in comments down below. Uh, you folks have been great about uh, you know, just providing some additional help and answering each other's questions in the comments sections of these guides, and I love seeing that, so keep it up. Thank you so much for watching. Hope these guides are helping you, and I will talk to you later. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton when you do that. Check out this video. It's one of our favorite things that we've done so far on our channel. And here's some more stuff you might like. See the description below for links to our Sugar Bomb forum and our mods on Nexus mods.